So in this video I will share with you a game changing tip for your photography and videography that will make your work stand out. Seriously, I'm not over exaggerating, this will change everything. This is not about cameras, lenses, frame rates and other stuff like that. Of course, those matter too. But today's topic is color coordination. Firstly, let's understand what color coordination is. Color coordination is the use of a color to create visually appealing image. For a photographer or a videographer, it's a wisdom of knowing which colors will work together and which don't. A brilliant image will have a proper balance and contrast of color. On the other hand, a poor image will contrast, clash and distract from overall purpose. So now that we know the definition of color coordination, it is time to understand how we're going to use it to create great images. For example, you have a car photo shoot and you know that your car is red. Actually, my car is red. That's why we're going that route. So to understand which colors are going to work with the red car and make it stand out, you can use Adobe Color. It will give you a color wheel and different type of rules to choose the right color scheme for you. In our case, we're going to use complementary color scheme. Complementary color scheme uses colors opposite each other on the color wheel. This creates a look that both dynamic and eye-catching. Creating visual interest is the primary purpose of complementary color. So we're going to select the red color and we will see that the opposite of the red is green. So to make our car stand out we can use forest roads or places where there is a lot of greens. That will make our car pop and it will create a balanced image in terms of colors. I'm sure you've all heard about teal and orange look and you saw it in 100 movies and images. And now you know why it works, because teal is the opposite of orange on the color wheel. What I suggest you to do before a shoot, go to the location, explore it a bit, see what colors are there and what will work for you. Or if you don't have a chance to go there, find the reference images or use Google Maps, just drag and drop that little guy on a map and, and you can spin around 360 and see what is there. So in this case, you can match your talent's clothes to the location or you can match the car color to the location if you're that rich. Using these tips, you will either find a great location for your next shoot or you will adjust your subject's colors to match the location. I guess I'm done explaining. If you have any questions or tips for someone else, leave them in the comment section down below. We'll catch you in the next one. Till then, stay awesome!